the following is just what uh, <clears throat> the way I see it and other customers that I've talked to that uh, per the changes that the blades gonna do here coming up on the 25th of February they're gonna go from seven days a week with the uh, print edition to five days a week eliminating Monday and Tuesday that's all good and well but the issue is those that paid for the seven days a week paper edition um, are not going to be getting whatever issues are going to be missing for the uh, rest of their subscription now in an attempt to speak to somebody that um, could help me with this I initially spoke to a Raquel R-A-Q-U-E-L who was actually useless and didn't want to give me any information wouldn't uh, even though she works there would not tell me who I could contact to uh, speak to them about this um, the only thing she would offer is an additional two weeks which would not cover the uh, issues that I will be missing I ended up uh, getting in contact with uh, the edit editorial department spoke to a lady who was very helpful gave me the phone number and the uh, supervisor that I needed to speak to who is Tom Zeller Z-E-L-L-E-R I uh, called and left him a message that day we communicated over the phone the next day and uh, obviously we didn't see eye to eye and he made the uh, same offer of well we'll give you 14 days which I didn't think was acceptable and uh, he was saying that uh, they offer two editions. They offer the paper edition, then they also offer a digital edition. You get a complimentary uh, uh, digital edition when you get the paper edition. But as I told him, people that had bought prior expecting to get the paper, that's how I like to read it. I don't use the digital edition. Um, you know, we, we'd prefer to get the paper. All, all we wanted was just to get whatever papers are going to be missed those two days a week times the rest of your subscription time just extend that uh, after the end of your uh, subscription ends add those amount of days so that you're made whole pretty much I mean if you buy a car with a 36 month warranty once you sign the paperwork and pay for it they can't change it and say well we're going back to 24 you're still entitled to the 36 month warranty so basically Tom Zeller said that uh, that's all he could do was give me the uh, additional two weeks 14 days and that was it so I said well you know maybe I'll put this video together I'll send him a link and he could uh, send it to the powers that be I also asked Tom Zeller you know could you please uh, let me know who I could contact to speak to somebody further up the chain and he, he would not do that so hopefully this video you know will just allow the customers to get what they paid for that's they don't want any more or any less like I said I've talked to people that uh, aren't happy about it and they're pretty much force feeding it on you and not allowing you to just get the additions the number of papers that you paid for initially so anyways uh, the blade hopefully you'll do the right thing uh, if they do reconsider and give the people the additional papers that they are due I would do an update video